Okay, today we're going to do the next step of the 200 hour service, or as we've been saying, Johnny's essential oils. Um, we're going to do the engine oil change. This is really pretty easy. There isn't much to the engine oil and filter change, and it's all easily accessed. So who knows, after I say this, I'll probably have some complicated situation come up, but uh, it's, it's really easy to change the engine oil and filter on these tractors. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to raise the hood here. I have warmed the engine. It's ran for a little while. It didn't run a crazy long time because I didn't want it crazy hot. First thing I'm going to do here is loosen this oil fill cap. I'll just leave it on there kind of an angle. I just want air to be able to get down in there. So here we are. This is the oil pan under the engine. We're looking forward towards the front of the tractor. This is the drain plug. Okay, only two tools needed at this stage. One is my 17 millimeter socket. I chose to put an extension on it so I wouldn't have to deal with these hoses here very much. The other tool is my trusty roll of paper towels. Okay, how can I do this without being on the way of the camera? It's going to be difficult, isn't it? Notice that oil is black as can be. I mean, you're just going to have to look at my hand. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Okay. And there's slightly less than three quarts of oil on this engine, so really not much. We'll let it drip for a while while we go look at the filter. As I mentioned, the filter is very easy to access on this tractor. I'll just wipe some of the dust off of it before we get started. Now I've arranged the oil pan under there so that it still catches the dripping. And at the same time, it should be able to catch the oil that we get out of the filter. Okay, I probably could take that off with my hands because I put the last one on. But I would say that the first one, when I did it at the 50-hour service, was not so easy to get off. You can check this video here to see how I eventually got it off. Not the prescribed mechanism, but it was really tight. Man. Twist it with the screwdriver. There we go. What I'm going to do to show you how I'm going to do it this time, I got this filter wrench, a little different style filter wrench than what I'm used to, but I got this at greenfarmparts.com. It takes a 19 millimeter wrench. Looks like it would also take a 3 8 drive ratchet as well. And you can see that that is turning very easily. So we're finished with the wrench now. But that thing's handier than a regular old filter wrench, especially at an angle that we had here. We couldn't get in there with a regular filter wrench very easily. Okay, the oil's running right down the engine block. Right under my pan. I did spill one drop. That's one drop more than I wanted to spill. Okay, while we're waiting for the oil to drain, let's talk just a little bit about what we're going to replace the oil with. Um, it's a little bit of discussion, a little bit of uh, confusion, I think, about when you're supposed to change the oil the first time. Uh, some places uh, recommend that you change the oil with the 50-hour service. Other places say 100 hours. Some places it almost indicates that you don't change it at all until 200 hours. There's one other complicating factor, and that is that Deere recommends that you use break-in oil for the first 100 hours. So how do we resolve all these things? Uh, what I chose to do was to change my oil at about 75 hours and to not use break-in oil at that point. So I sort of fudged the difference between some of the, the recommendations and I made my first oil change right at 75 hours and I used regular service oil at that point. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use for the 200 hour service, which is what I'm doing now. This is regular Deere Plus 52 15W40 oil. Okay, I've used 5W40 in my last change. Really didn't notice any difference between that and the 15W40. Um, we'll see how it goes this winter. One thing I can say is that since I keep my tractor warm now in my shed, even, even though I might have it outside some during the winter, most likely the oil won't be cold during that season. So really probably 15W40 is best for me year round at this point. The filter, the same one I've always used, and the same one that as far as I know everyone uses, M806418. Now, you can get both of these as, long, as well as all of the other 200-hour service parts. You can go to my website, TractorTimeWithTim.com, and search for the service supplies, and there you will see uh, links to each of the 50-hour service or the 200-hour service for the 1023, the 1025, the 1026, as well as the 2025 tractors.
When you click those links, it will add all of the items to your cart at greenfarmparts.com and all you have to do is complete your order. I do everything except for enter my credit card number for you. And don't count on that happening. Put just a little bit of grease on there. Right on that O-ring. I'll do that with every filter that I put on. Okay, I'm going to take my towel and wipe the last little bit of oil out of there, but it's really in pretty good shape. Okay, here we go, just like always. Oh, one, one suggestion I might have on the filter is to use a little labeler and actually put a label on your filter to show the date of your oil change and how many hours your tractor has on it. <laughs> I take so many videos that I don't really need to do that because it's all on video right here. My tractor has 191.5 hours on it. Just like all filters, a half a turn to three quarters of a turn after the gasket contacts the base. I would say that right there is the contact of the base. Um, that's a half a turn right there. I'll go five eighths of a turn and that's plenty. Now, if you're not familiar with diesel engines, don't be shocked when you see this black oil come out of there. You might say, oh my goodness, I didn't change it soon enough. But no, diesel engines, they'll turn the oil black almost immediately. Within an hour or two of putting new clear oil in it, it'll be black. That's just the way diesels are, all of them. Little ones like this are big ones too. Okay, looks like our dripping has stopped. I'll get some of the drips off of here. It's really very easy to access. Uh-oh. One problem. Always have to have some problem, don't I? I set the drain plug there. And now it's not there. I'm sure when I moved the pan it fell into the oil pan here. Let's see if it's I've got my magnet. Let's see if that's it right there. Okay, gotta be one stupid move in every oil change or every project, right? Okay, so here we go. It's finger tight right there. Wipe it off again. Use our socket. Now I really don't want to put much on this. I don't want it to come loose, I don't want it to leak, but I don't want to twist out the threads in the oil pan. While we're under here looking at the oil pan, you might see some scratches on my oil pan up here. These scratches are not from hard work. These are scratches are from my attempt at using one of those electric oil pan, magnetic oil pan heaters when I was in the little outdoor cold shed. I would put that up right here on this part of the oil pan it was a cat's brand, I believe. And in all honesty, I could let it run for hours and hours and I never noticed any difference in the engine startup. It, it didn't seem to make any difference at all. Having said that, I'm really glad to have a warm shed now so I don't have to worry about that. But um, if you need a cold weather startup, I'm a little reluctant to recommend the magnetic engine oil heater that you put down here. I think going ahead and getting a block heater is the way to go. Okay, so only one more step. We've got our drain plug on, we've got our new filter on, we just have to put the oil in. Special thanks to GreenFarmParts.com for sponsoring this video. If you like my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you'd buy your parts through greenfarmparts.com and use coupon code TTWT at checkout. Thanks for watching. Press the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. How would you do the oil change differently? Share it with your friends. And tune in next time for another exciting episode of Tractor Time with Tim.